Hi, I am Alex Kloskov, commercial photographer, founder of Photogy.com. I help other photographers to become experts in product photography, in studio product photography. And today I have an announcement, announcement about uh, future of uh, Photogy Pro Corner. Pro Corner is a special community, subscription only community of photographers on Photogy.com uh, who want to invest uh, their money, invest their time, invest uh, their efforts into successful commercial studio product photographer. Uh, many of them are already photographers and uh, they work in different fields of uh, commercial photography, maybe wedding, maybe events, maybe portraiture, and they want to uh, get into product, jewelry, liquid, uh, advertisement photography, which we do in studio. And many of them are just the beginners uh, who basically seen product photography as the new way uh, for their personal and professional development. I'm saying personal because, well, it's um, I believe uh, only uh, I believe in that you can be successful in your professional way only if uh, it will align with your personal uh, needs, personal desires. So that's what we do in Pro Corner. We try to not only you know learn techniques and uh, get nice shots and find new clients and uh, grow the business, but basically we want to get our life, get our freedom uh, by doing what we love: shooting products, shooting still life uh, in studio. You know. And. Uh, for a while, I was posting uh, my tutorials, my behind-the-scenes videos, uh, lots of interesting stuff into Pro Corner. You know, it was well at the beginning, it was something uh, not sophisticated, uh, but uh, last year I've been investing lots of time, and uh, basically uh, we have a pretty nice set of uh, behind-the-scenes and uh, uh, other lessons from really cool shot in Pro Corner. But you see, it was, uh, it was some disconnect, which really uh, didn't, uh, I didn't feel really well uh, about this. And disconnect was that it was not much dialogue going on uh, between uh, instructors. Well, I was only one instructor for several years. And uh, photographers from the community who were kind of using uh, tutorials and uh, lessons to get some cool shots and uh, to become successful in what they do. And uh, now I want to change this because you see I was doing what I like to do and uh, nobody basically knew my plans, uh, what will be next. Uh, it was all, um, well, it was not the best possible way, I think. So uh, I ask questions, I start dialogue uh, with our community photographers in Pro Corner, and uh, I think we found uh, pretty nice uh, ideas which um, we're going to implement uh, in next year, basically, and uh, continue move that direction. So now it will be much more feedback, much more uh, dialogue uh, going on between instructors, and it will be not only me instructor, it will be uh, more instructors coming to Pro Corner, and photographers. And uh, more troubleshooting, more help uh, on the shots which uh, photographers need. Uh, I won't be just shooting, you know, what I like. Well, I will be doing it anyway, but I'll be more concentrating on helping to get particular shots done uh, for photographers from Procorner community. Uh, if you look at the forum, you'll see my, many new uh, sub forums in Procorner, uh, something like, uh, you know, urgent um, help like when you get assignment and uh, uh, you have well, some trouble getting a result uh, and you need almost immediate attention, you post on that there and uh, you post on that particular uh, topic and uh, I'm watching it every day and I'm ready to uh, you know, provide uh, my best uh, feedback and help on that areas. So, you know, things like this. I want to make sure that everything I do uh, will will fill the needs uh, of our community photographers. Not just stuff which, you know, came to my mind, as it used to be. And uh, to kind of help move in the direction, we're going to do assignments. Bi-weekly assignments, uh, when 
anyone from ProCorner can participate, uh, submit uh, their results, submit, uh, of course, uh, intermediate results, submit uh, lighting setup, uh, you know, usual stuff for the assignment, and especially uh, con show uh, areas where they feel that uh, they didn't get uh, it very well, some problematic areas. And then, uh, after assignment is completed, uh, we'll sit in studio, I'll sit here, you guys will sit uh, on your remote computers, on a live video, like on webinars when I was shooting and um, uh, people were watching me, uh, communicating through the chat, uh, sending questions and I replying them. And uh, uh, everyone uh, seen what I was doing, you know, shooting, it was screen share, it was uh, live video. So that's what we will be doing with assignments. And what I will do, I will concentrate on uh, areas, on those areas where uh, photographers who participate in that uh, assignment uh, get the most uh, mistakes, errors, uh, troubles, uh, didn't get, uh, did, was not satisfied, I would say, with the results. And uh, we'll walk through and, uh, well, I'll do my best to kind of to answer uh, every question and show how to approach the best possible way to get uh, these areas, um, well, done. Because you see, it's kind of interesting. Uh, many, many courses, uh, many tutorials online, there are a lot, a lot, not about product photography, but let's say uh, portraiture and, uh, uh, well, mostly portraiture, I would say, uh, tutorials and courses online from great photographers, but they always show, uh, you know, the right way to do things. It's like, uh, they show that step-by-step -step instruction how to get that um, nice shot which you see, you know, at the end of the course. And it's great. It's, it's really great. But uh, the problem that nobody really shows you gray areas or dark areas of, uh, of that assignment, of, of the shot. Uh, things which were not right. And because you didn't see them, when you start doing something similar, but not exactly the same, it's very easy to get into those areas and uh, just get lost and you, you didn't get result and uh, you try to follow, but it didn't work. Just because you're not seeing those things, which you kind of... Uh, everyone tells you what to do, but what if you tell you what not to do? And uh, the most important learning happening in the areas which you shouldn't do, you know, not right. It's uh, like everywhere. When you look at, uh, well, any education, they show you how it should be done, but nobody shows you, you know, uh, mistakes. So we will concentrate on covering mistakes. Uh, we'll concentrate covering things which was not easy to do and uh, many had problems. Um, in this case, I'm pretty much sure that it will work the best to, to grow knowledge, uh, to get people, uh, well, to understand what they didn't do uh, well and how, how to get it done right next time on the similar subject. And how to get the assignment, how to get, uh, how we'll be getting um, subjects for assignment. Again, I won't be inviting, uh, inventing them. Uh, we'll, we have a forum on ProCorner, forum topic where everyone will submit uh, their ideas for next assignment. And we have a voting system on 40G forum, right? Where you can vote for the post if you like it or just, well, it stars. It's not like this, I don't like this, you know. I'll, it's five stars, so you put nothing or five or four or three, whatever. And then we'll select the most interesting topic. So you can contribute by submitting your ideas and uh, same time you can vote for ideas which uh, already submitted because you may like it better. In this case, we'll know what's the most interesting for the community to do on the assignment. And then we'll do that assignment. Next time, we'll do it again and again and again. So the idea is to build a long-term term relationship. Because you see, when uh, it's just a list of uh, uh, great tutorials, you can join ProCorner, you can watch them uh, all in, in 30 days and then leave ProCorner and uh, then join back in one year, let's say, to, to watch whatever uh, appeared 
whatever was added uh, from that time. And you see, it kind of not the best way uh, to do from a business side for 40G and I'm sure it's not the best way to get the most value from it because uh, watch thing, what, uh, watch great tutorial is a good but what about if you start doing this and you're not getting the result and it's really frustrating you paid money you you tried your best and it doesn't work so now if you well, anyone who will join will get that flow of um, troubleshooting, you know, uh, per personal kind of flow because, um, again, I'll be replying forms, I'll be working uh, with every photographer uh, trying to help to get the result done. And assignment is a big help uh, because every assignment, again, it will be, of course, recorded uh, and it will be on per corner. So you can watch previous assignments uh, and uh, learn a lot because it will be all troubleshooting. Not only, you know, things like how we are gonna do it um, step by step type of tutorial, but it will be troubleshooting of most common errors, right? Of most common uh, troubles, troubleshooting troubles. So I hope, well, not hope, it's not right work. I'm sure it will really, really will add value to ProCorner membership. And I hope to build a long-term relationship with our photographers. And it will be not only me. I'm looking for uh, talents. I'm looking for people who want to join our instructors on ProCorner and uh, do similar things. Okay, this was the announcement which I want to uh, tell you guys. And uh, I'm going to post our first assignment in ProCorner forum. An assignment will be to shoot silverware. That's what we got on the forum. Looks like it's the most interesting topic. I won't be really limiting how to shoot it, um, meaning in terms of uh, you know angles and uh, uh, composition. Every photographer will decide uh, himself or herself how to do it, uh, what's the most interesting. But the idea is to learn how to shoot that glossy uh, subject, silverware, uh, how to get a nice composition, how to shoot, let's say, directly from top or maybe from the angle, because everything is really flat and, uh, well, it, it will be interesting. Plus, it's not covered yet. So, the first assignment is silverware shot. I'll put more details on the ProCorner. And again, if you're not in ProCorner, you, you can join and shoot it well. You can, you can do this assignment. You can post on our uh, open uh, part of the 4TG forum your result. Uh, if I would have time, I will comment. If not, I can't. Uh, I can't promise, basically. I can't promise because I really can't uh, well, split my 24 hours uh, of the day into 48 hours. I would love, but unfortunately not. And of course, I will put my, most of my uh, time and energy uh, to help photographers who put uh, their most efforts by joining ProCorner and uh, well basically it's a commitment um, that um, you want to grow, uh, it's a serious for you, you want to change your life, uh, you want to jump to that new area which is completely different area of commercial photography. Think about uh, events or weddings, uh, I, I couldn't imagine how frustrating for many photographers who've been shooting it for years uh, these times now when, you know, everyone with expensive DSLR, you know, friend, uh, friends or relatives of uh, your customers can say, well, I can shoot something similar. And in many cases, they have good sight, they can shoot something, right? And sometimes customers saying, oh, you know, it's just too expensive. My brother can do something really cool too. Of course, it's completely different, well, workflow result and... Uh, experience for the customer but again how hard to compete with uh, amateurs uh, with those DSLRs the beauty of studio photography that nobody with DSLR can do anything here without uh, good knowledge try to ask anyone to shoot uh, let's say something like this uh, yeah they can shoot it the best they can do uh, put next to the window and shoot it but add few things and uh, well you just can't do it if you don't know it. So uh, that's the beauty of commercial studio photography, commercial product photography. Um, 
Competition is much lower, but competitors are professionals only. Only professionals, right? And the market is huge. Market is huge, uh, starting from um, little businesses, which all around, always, on any area you live, uh, businesses which wants to shoot their little stuff, which they want to sell, uh, to hire clients, advertisement agencies who, who look for talented uh, photographers who can do some interesting ideas, a creative way of representing their products. So it's, it's really, really interesting. If, you, if your mind is technical, like uh, I see our community uh, photographer, they, they kind of almost like lighting engineers. You know, you can walk for hours with that light, uh, with the subject. Again, subject, it's not complaining, it's not like uh, a family portraiture when, well, you need to shoot, you only have uh, very little time till people start looking like, like this, right? Um, you can walk forever on that subject till you get, get it done. So, join us uh, if, if it sounds interesting for you, uh, because it will be a nice journey. It will be a very interesting journey and uh, I'm sure you won't regret it. Okay? So, this is Alex Kolaskov from 40 Bye!